just let me put on uh, just a little bit. Here you go. My mom wants me to wear makeup because she says it enhances my features. Good. I just don't want to wear makeup and my mom can't understand that. I was always comparing myself. I'm thinking around the same age, sixth, seventh, eighth grade is when you start comparing yourself to other girls. And I still am not 100% accepting of my body. It's still an issue for me. I don't like my age or my wrinkles. There's nothing I can do about it. She has a thing about her eyebrows. Like, her hairstylist convinced her that she would just um, <laughs> touch up her eyebrows. And for probably a month and a half, she wore a, um, like a hat covering her eyebrows. <laughs> I think that a lot of girls compare themselves to what they see on TV and to what they see in magazines and like movies and videos. To fit in, you have to fit this mold. Would all of our female students please report to the gymnasium for more information and participation on the Beauty Is Project. Thanks, everyone. I'm here today to talk to you about beauty. You have the power to change and redefine what beauty is. The power is in your hands because now, more than ever, it's right at our fingertips. We can take selfies, <laughs> right? Some of you are going to be in a photography workshop that I'm going to be running. We're going to discuss the power of self-portraiture, and it's going to open up a discussion about what beauty is, and it's not what everyone has always said that it is. I'm going to ask you to take a risk that could change the way that people define beauty. What if we figured out a way, when you guys are taking a selfie, to actually incorporate the things about us that we don't like? What do you guys think? I worry a lot about, I guess, my positioning in the picture because I do have like a really round face, so it's kind of hard to like take a good picture, I guess. I hate my rosy cheeks, because people always say that I look like a tomato. I hate my braces, and I hate my glasses. I don't know, like, I want to say that I hate my whole face. I look like a 12-year-old, I look like a boy, like, it's just like, and I've gotten that before, and it's just like, why would people say that? Like, it just really hurts. Oftentimes, mothers pass on their insecurities to their children. I think my mom's insecurities affect me a lot. When you like hear her talk about her insecurities, you start to focus on your own. What if you guys work with your moms who are also going to be learning how to take selfies? <laughs> your mom can redefine beauty just like you can. Jeez. <laughs> you know, you turn your head a little bit, that helps. <laughs> There. I like it. OK. Fine. <laughs> I want my mom to know that she's beautiful and she doesn't have to change for anyone. If you tap your face when you take the picture, mm -hmm. it'll focus on it and then it won't be blurry. You can just, you just hold it up. Mm -hmm. Right? You want to take a selfie together? OK. And you smile or do whatever face you want and you just. But no duck face. This. Why are you doing a duck face? The thing that I hide when I take my pictures is how big my hair looks. I really don't want to take a selfie with my hair down. Sometimes in the mirror, I like cover one of my arms, like part of it, to make it look like more narrow or something. I would never guess that you did that in the mirror. Yeah. <laughs> And I'm scared. I'm like scared of putting myself out there.
Going to the photo exhibit was really cool for me because a lot of people were writing nice comments about my hair. In the workshop, I was surprised when I heard the girls talking about their insecurities. When they said they were insecure about things, those were the things that made them different. But the things that made them different made them unique. And that made them beautiful. I don't look like the people in the magazines. I'm not blonde or super tall or super skinny, but that doesn't mean I'm not beautiful. I was looking through my selfies last night and I realized that I am beautiful. I'm pretty cute. Since we've had this experience together, I have realized she's fine just the way she is. Taking a selfie is really not the worst thing that can happen. Did the world combust into a million little pieces because I put a selfie out there? Uh, no, I'm, I'm still here, so it's all good, it's all good. I think that my daughters have taught me that social media is widening the definition of what beauty is. Social media is putting the reins in their hands. The creativity of social media is definitely allowing you to start to define for yourself what beauty is. I think beauty is being strong and being brave and being happy with yourself. And I think that's really beautiful.